Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl King Ayama, popularly known as KM Starlin. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to do the bald cap method just using ordinary pantyhose. Okay, so this is a method. I do want to give credit to where I learned this method. That was at the San. I was getting an installation done there and this is the method they used and I just fell in love with it a couple of years ago. Honestly, it just saved me so much trouble because first of all, it is so hard to find those nude wig caps, but also they're just such a nightmare to work with. If you don't have to pull it all across your face, then you have to cut the ears and 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 once you have it on it runs like crazy and it's just a, a nightmare to work with so i've been using this method for years now and this just works so much better for me this is not the right shade match i usually get a very accurate shade I mean, you can get them anywhere just depending on where i get them I got these from Woolies, but you can get them from Checkers Pick and Pay, and I usually get them in a medium size, just because the reason why I wear a wig cap in the first place is because I want to pull up my face just to give that facelift illusion, so I do tend to go for a smaller size. I also just love how affordable this method is. If you look at this, these stockings, you can get quite a number of bald caps, so it's a great method I just love how my wigs look when I use a bald cap and some people don't find it necessary I just can't install a wig without a bald cap these days so yeah the first thing that you're gonna do is you are going to just snip the pantyhose obviously so you can put your head through it make sure that you push your edges back out of the way just to protect them but also just to make sure that they don't get in the way of your install edges are pushed back the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure to wipe off any of that residue as well as any product that you may still have on your face from doing your skincare just make sure that you get all of this off because another reason why your bold cap you may find that your bold cap is lifting or is not giving that really bold cap effect is just because you already have product on your face so you just need to make sure you clean that off just to create a clean canvas for your cap so roll it all the way back just because this is a small size and stretch it over This is also what's going to give you that facelift illusion. Just be careful if you have nails. Notice that I'm using my thumb to pull this and not my nails because your stocking will just tear. It's not a big deal if it does, but we don't want that. What you're going to do is you're just going to tie a knot. a cut here okay, I can't find my got to be which is what I usually use so I'm just gonna go in with my glamour spray this is um, it says fast drying no residue I don't like using this product because you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but anyway I'm just gonna go in and Go in with the hair dryer, but just let it air dry. But I'm gonna go in with the hair dryer. If you do go in with the hair dryer, just make sure it's on the lowest setting and it's on a cool temperature. And then when I use the, the, the hot temperature, it gets a bit like tacky and you get residue. So just make sure that it's on the lowest setting, but also it is on the cold setting. I can't emphasize this enough. You need to make sure that it, it is completely dry. You need to feel it and you need to make sure that it is completely dry. Before you get into cutting the cap, make sure that you now go in with your powder. I find that going in with the, your powder before cutting it just makes it more flawless or seamless. My foundation on my hand first 
and just blend that out and then I just go in with the brush and blend that through. If I'm wondering in the store which um, stockings to get, I usually prefer the, prefer the sheer ones as opposed to the matte ones because it just looks better. No tears whatsoever. Good riddance to the ordinary wig cap. And then you're just gonna pull this up like so and just snip, okay? Take your time with this process as with any other process when you're laying your wig, it is not a rush. And remember, the more time you take with these processes, the more flawless your install is, okay? Don't rush it. Make sure that you've set enough you make sure that you've set aside enough time for your install and I promise you you will get it right. Okay, so once I've cut that, I'm gonna just pull it back slowly to where I want it. And for me, that is usually right in front of my hairline and you need to get a sharp pair of scissors and also you need to make sure that you lay your scissors against your forehead like that just to make sure that you're not leaving any of the cap uncut just to make sure that you're cutting as close to the cap as possible There is no need for your wig cap to go over this area. It's completely unnecessary and will contribute to your wig flapping. As you can tell, it's not straight, but you don't need to worry about that. It's okay. It is completely not straight. But it's okay. What I usually do now is then go in with my got to be. This is the beginning of my wig laying process, but it's also further securing the bolt cap so I'll just go in with my got to be on a rat tail comb like that and most importantly with a hairdryer you can go in with just a bit more foundation to further secure this or some powder if you like but totes are necessary at this point. This is what it looks like. Yes, guys, that is the end of the video. Let me know if you enjoyed it and if you found it helpful. This is my bold cap and I'm now ready to install my wig. I'm just gonna install it off camera and I'll come back and show y'all. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know if you're going to be trying this technique or if you've tried it and whether this video was helpful. And I'll see you on my next video.